I'm back today with my roommate John Michael. I wanted him to be in this video for a certain reason. We went and saw The Darkness. He, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> we had a good like 15 minute conversation in the car about this movie and I just, we had some great comments and I thought it, we would benefit with him being here. Um, I knew it was gonna be bad. I don't know, there was just a lot of like cliche parts. Mm -hmm. Honestly though, like I think my biggest pet peeve was that the whole movie is laid out for you. Like they tell you word yeah. for word what's gonna happen or what needs to happen. And I just like movies that provoke a little bit more thought and like you have to kind of figure out like, oh, this is probably because of this or like some guessing, I don't yeah, know. There's, yeah. there's just way too much like word for word say this because it's gonna come up again later and then later they're gonna be like, well, someone with this needs to do it. And it's like, oh, that's funny because in the beginning of the movie, that's what you told me. So I now I know what I know. I just know. Yeah, if I'm going to just put it out there. This is what I said in the car, and I still hold true to this. This is the worst high-budget movie I've ever seen. They had freaking Kevin Bacon in it. Why he agreed to do this film, I don't even know. But it was so bad. I was falling asleep. I was tuning out, and I still caught everything. There's a lot of character... Mm -hmm. like depth mm -hmm. all at once yeah. from too many characters and then there's also just a lot of like drive-by characters where like you see Point someone less. and you think that you'll see him again and you don't. Mm -hmm. Literally the whole movie is about the family of four with like appearances by other people in each different scene. Who are not relevant at all. Yeah, and then the four family members all just have way too much going on in their personal lives. But yeah, and it was so much to where it was like, if they had just focused all that effort into one or two characters, they could have had some really cool, unique characters, but it was all like cliche, like alcoholism, cheating, bulimia, autism. That's the four characters. That's their, their issues. Like, why was that needed? Why was all of that needed in a one and a half hour movie? Like, yeah. And none of the like, act, like none of their personal things had to do with like none of them the actual plot either. Because you know, like some movies you'll watch and it's like um, American Horror Story Hotel. Mm -hmm. All the killer, like all the killings that are happening, like have to do with one of the deadly sins. You know how right, like some right. movies will have like this character has this problem because it pertains to something else in the movie and you have exactly. to like figure it out or you're like, oh, that's why it's like that. But with this movie, you're just like, why is she bulimic? Why is this in the movie? Why? They, they only, it's only ever surface level with those things as well. Like we yeah. never heard the backstory of cheating ever. Yeah. We just assumed and they did tell us that he cheated, but they never talked about it. We don't even know it. who like, he cheated with. No was idea. Was it the woman in the beginning? Was it somebody else? Was, was it another assistant at his work? I don't know. Yeah, and like it's sh and the only character that they tried to like interpret into the movie with their backstory was the son who has autism mm -hmm. and but, that's a reason why he wasn't afraid of it, the normal things because they made a point to tell you that he's not afraid of normal kid things that yeah. kids would be afraid of and that probably ties into him having autism because that is something that can happen so that's like the only thing that was ever relevant the acting performance by the child was just not believable like i'm not, not saying he has to act like a typical child with autism but I didn't even know he had autism until they vis like visibly till they verbally said it like midway through the movie. They're like, yeah. hey, "Your son has autism." Blah blah blah. Like, and I'm just like, "What? His he has autism?" Yeah. Like, and not to say that it's not a spectrum and there's function high functioning and then you know obviously there yeah. there is that. But like he literally did not act at all. Yeah. Like he, he had literally anything. any scene that he was in was just him either playing he, and he was looking talking. around. And just like staring off it in yeah. the distance. And I just thought that was because he was weird. Like I didn't think he had autism. You could always guess what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You always knew what was going to happen. Nothing was a surprise. Like, nothing was really no. scary. Like even the shadow figures that they kept showing, like people would walk, like that was done so many times that it wasn't even scary. Not anymore. at all. Like you would constantly see things walking by. And like normally in a horror movie that happens like two or three times mm -hmm. and you're like, ooh, bitch, move. There's a <laughs> fucking shadow right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. But in this one, it's like, oh, well, now that she's alone, you're probably going to see something walk by. Oh, there it goes. And then it was just dumb too, because a lot of what's supposed to be like frightening in the movie happens so much that it just doesn't make sense either like there's the black handprints which you guys if you haven't seen the movie it's in the trailer right you see those throughout the entire film and it's just like i'm sorry by the eighth time that i see <laughs> black hand marks in my house i would have like i yeah. would have investigated it like there's hands on the mirror and she blames the brother he's this tall 
Your and mirror's up like, here. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I can't. And they show it so much that it's like, it's not even scary at all. Like, the worst jump scares of a movie I've ever seen, and you guys know I hate, hate jump scares. I hate them. And this is the worst ones I've ever seen in my life. We should talk about the one in the kitchen, particularly. That was the bad. worst thing I've ever seen. They tried to be so original because it was a cliche, typical, she's closing the fridge and you expect something right there. But of course, movies don't do that anymore. But then you're expecting for it not to be there. Yeah, so, so you then know obviously it's not there. It wasn't there. And you're like, okay, at least they didn't do like the super cliche. They just did like this step down because that's become a cliche too. When right. The build-up happens there. and it's not there. Uh, and it's and it's worse because like some movies will do that where you, where you'll just like assume like there's gonna be something in the mirror and then you're like no they're not gonna do it because it's too typical mm -hmm. and sure enough it's not there but they don't do any scoring or any dramatic like That's angles to build it up so you're not even mad because you're like honestly they probably didn't they try didn't, to make that scary they didn't not. and so it's fine but this one, but this one gave you the, the whole music. build up then she closes it oh it's not there obviously but then. For literally a split second, like it was so fast, she glances next to the refrigerator is um, their the ovens. Yeah, the stove. Or yeah, the ovens, the yeah. Ovens. <laughs> the stove. The stove is up here. Uh, in the reflection, you can see, again, a shadow figure, and it like But moves. I honestly didn't see anything. Yeah, I was it like, it was what am I looking at? It was one split second. It just, I thought like, it was happened. just like and a then glare. And the girl reacts, so then I'm like, I have to backtrack in my mind, and like, I'm like, oh, she that? saw something. It was in the reflection. It failed so hard. It, yeah, they could have executed it better, I feel like. Um, made it more obvious, yeah. a longer scene. A longer sh Whoever was in the editing I, should have I, made it I didn't lengthier. see anything, and I was like, what am I seeing right now? Yeah. Is something in the oven? I don't Actually, if you blinked, you would have missed it. Oh, easily. It was that short. Basically, save your money. Don't go see this. Do not. Probably don't even watch it when it comes out on DVD, unless you really want a movie where you're going to sit with your friends and make fun of it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it's around the corner. I, I didn't can't even believe know it. Was coming it. Out that bad. Uh, if you guys crying. haven't seen the trailer, first of all, if you haven't seen the short film, mm. we're diverging. But anyway, lights <laughs> out, short film, watch it. The best short I've ever watched in my life. It's my favorite it's, thing it's of life. It's the simplest one I've ever seen. So easy, so simple. Watch it. I'll link it below. But also, I'm going to link the trailer because they're making it a full-length movie. Yes, with one of my favorite actresses, Tessa Palmer. She's amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave some movie requests down below and some upcoming trailers that you're excited for down below. I'll link his stuff down below and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> it's a little delayed. I forgot. I haven't done a video in a while. You should never have come here!